Good afternoon everyone. I think everyone had a nice good lunch. Wake up. So before we start our meeting, I just want to get into the ground rules of Toastmasters. First is please switch off your mobiles so that and also uh, either switch off your mobiles or put it in a silent mode. As Toastmasters, we do speak about sex, religion and politics, so refrain yourself from discussing these topics. Please do not cross talk. The mission of Toastmasters is to provide supportive and positive learning experience. And as Toastmasters, we have been em empowered to develop these skills like communication and leadership skills, resulting in greater self-confidence as well as a personal growth. So with that, I would like to have the presiding officer to address you after. Thank you, Sir Jindal Trams. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the meeting number 757 of Metric Toastmasters Club. In the sound of his gavel, I declare the meeting open. At this time, I welcome the dignitaries, DTM Thomas, who is our uh, past president of Medli and past uh, district PR manager, DTM Sampath Sauri Rajan, past area director and our past president of Medli Toastmasters Club. And I also welcome all the members to this wonderful meeting and this venue today. Welcome you all. Last week, I was discussing with my son about gratitude. What is gratitude? That was the question he posed upon me. How can we show gratitude? That's the important question he wanted to know and understand. Yes, I know that yes, there are some positive things about gratitude, but how can I build that as a habit? How can I build this? So I heard this from one contestant in another club. How he develop that purposeful habit of showing gratitude to someone. He shared one good idea which I thought would be much relevant to us today. He started writing a journal, gratitude journal. Every night, like we write the journal, he writes a gratitude journal. Whatever the day starts till the end, whoever he wants to say thanks or thank them, he writes it in the journal. That way, he started building that thought, yes, I need to be grateful to someone. That built that habit. Eventually, whenever he sees someone, he wants to appreciate someone who has helped him in his entire path. Till, till then, he built that habit naturally. So that is one way we could develop the habit of showing gratitude to others. Then I explained this to my son three, four days back, then he asked, now it is pouring cats and dogs. What you would be gratitude for? There was a news in the ch uh, news channel that one 36 year old person who is the breadwinner for his family, he was coming from his mill. He was working in a mill as a labor and he got electrocuted because of uh, wire, live wire on a water, which was stagnated water. So he asked, my son asked me, what is this, seeing this news, how would you say that whom you are grateful to? Then immediately I thought, I would be grateful to, though atheist or theist, I said, I would be grateful to the God, because air doesn't conduct, it's an insulator. If air had been a conductor, good conductor, then we would not be here complete different story. So the way AR is an insulator. So we are thankful to the God. So that, that way you can see each and everything that we are living today with. We can be great, grateful for many people whom we have not seen at all. Toastmasters is one such platform where we can be grateful each and every moment and we can appreciate each other and encourage each other's growth in this journey, entire journey. With that thoughtful thing, I would like to invite, take you uh, to the, the next session of today's meeting. I would like to invite Toastmaster of the day, who is an energetic Toastmaster and also 
who is always a go-to person when we look for something that we want them to do an extra mile, go an extra mile. When we were looking for the registration chair for our district division conference, me and uh, Prasanawani we were discussing and she proposed this person's name and he immediately accepted. Later he asked me what are the responsibilities, what should I do, I explained him these are the things. I thought maybe he would say no, but he said if you can help me, tell me what I should do at the right time, I can do it. And he was instrumental in getting the registrations for the division contest and also for a smoothful and seamless execution of our division contest. And also today's meeting, he took over as the TMOD of the meeting, but later last Monday, Prasanamani told him that you have to take over the in charge for conducting this meeting, entire meeting as well in a different venue. He eventually he agreed immediately and he took over that challenge as well. As we all know, we are here today enjoying this. Put your hands together to welcome K. Modi, first master Sajid.
today's time uh, is team amurtha only uh, season uh, uh, graduate holder in computer science applications and uh, she is been in several companies of uh, which is uh, which is under the origin of india and us and she is passionate about traveling in uh, she is passionate in traveling about in and around chennai i i gradually invite amartya ji pm amartya ji second is all counter today's all counter is uh, uh, is the pm prasanna venkatesh and he is an uh, software engineer who is working in amstar please welcome go much and as a grammarian i would like to uh, invite pm sanu
if you don't use it it weakens so we must use this language frequently like indulging ourselves such a type of post master club the weight of the day is indulgence <laughs> As Cambrian, it is my responsibility to pay close attention to all speakers, listening carefully to their language uses. I will indulge to take note of any misuse of English language as well as any outstanding words, quotes, saying, or thoughts. As Cambrian, it is also my duty to introduce the word of the day that is indulge. I mean, fix it. Okay. This is what we can use in the sentence as "I never indulge children with plenty of pocket money." The other meaning is "nourish, initiate, install, or invest or indulge." It is sometimes necessary to indulge a late comer. we had enough time to indulge him in lunch up to friday for me my guess sanjeev has indulged me on friday only for this lunch i will give the word of the day report and the grammatical language report when called upon to give the meeting thank you general evaluator as a general evaluator i will submit my reports at the end of the meeting while pm only calls Thank you, Ji. Now let us indulge into some good speeches. We'll proceed with our prepared speeches session. The first speaker of the day is Toastmaster Jayashri. Before calling Toastmaster Jayashri, I would like to invite Toastmaster Anuradha to read out the speech. Thank you. Welcome, Paul. Toastmaster Jayashri is giving her. I speak a speech in dynamic leadership pathway. The objective of this or purpose statement is the purpose of this project is for the member to introduce herself to the club and learn the basic structure of a speech. The time a duration is 4 to 6 minutes. Timer please note the time 4 to 6 minutes and all the best uh, to the session. Toastmaster Jay Shree is a skilled product manager, dedicated fitness enthusiast, a music lover, and an avid follower of the sport cricket. As a dedicated gym enthusiast, consistency in workout is her foundation, and is a key to her fitness journey. Welcome to Swami Jayeshri. To Swami Jayeshri, the beauty of life journey, the beauty of life journey, to Swami Jayeshri. Understand that I'm a person with humongous people balance. 
wondering what valency means? It's a term from chemistry meaning an ability to form bonds. I started indulging in various extracurricular activities in my school and I topped the board examinations, passed out with five years. After the school, my dad wanted me to become what he wanted to become. Guess what? An engineer, an electrical engineer. While my mother's passion towards music rubbed off. I had another idea. I got enrolled into a computer science engineering program at Zyra Institutions, which kind of partially satisfied my dad's wish to become an engineer. I also got indulged in the music club department. Transformative time for me. It made me to transform from a fat to a fit girl, from a first venture to a last venture, from having 100% attendance to moderate attendance, and it also helped me to back the best outgoing student award, right? And a 2 gram gold medal free of cost as well at the end of my career. After my college, I got into a job only to realize that I was not ready for it. I did some soul searching and realized to hone my business skills. I got myself registered into an MBA program with specialization in marketing at the prestigious PhD Institute of Management, Coimbatore. During my Coimbatore years, I started building and marketing the digital products utilizing back my computers and engineering right. That helped me to back the best All India Best Management Student Award for that year. And also led the pathway to get into a techno manager role, the product manager at a Microsoft powered startup in Bangalore. I love Bangalore for, for two main reasons. One, it's a startup hub, which means I can network with a lot of people like here. Number two, it's the hub for hubs. Right. Well, my story isn't over yet, guys. The beautiful picture of me painted so far has dark spots in it. COVID phase was one of the worst phase of my life. My product role was eliminated. I was shown the exit doors in my company. I was surrounded with fear. You know, fear became the predominant factor. You know what? Fear is actually a dark cloud that clogs your mind with negative thinking. Ladies and gentlemen, courage is not the absence of fear. It is the conquest of fear and it is the conquest of fear. Slowly and slowly, I'm conquering all my fears one by one. Right? Like a caterpillar, I went to the transformative phase, learning and learning. As we move forward, let's celebrate not just the butterfly, but also the process or journey of transformation to becoming a butterfly. Yes, it's also about that. The beauty of our life journey is not in the destination, it's in the transformation. Yes, the beauty of our life journey is in the transformation. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Toastmaster Jayashree. The second speech will be delivered by Toastmaster Rekha. I would, would like to invite Toastmaster Kalyani to read out the speech of the day. Good evening Toastmasters, today my target speaker's purpose is to learn or review basic methods for writing a speech with a defined purpose and to indulge ourselves to present a well organized speech. Over to you. Thank you Toastmaster Rekha Arunachala a corporate person with more than two decades of experience 
proving that surviving mating is indeed a skill. When not conquering in the boardroom, she is a fitness enthusiast and kitchen master and a life lover. Also, her dedication of daily running routine transformed her to a, a marathon runner. Again, the result of consistency. Unlock your BS, Toastmaster. Take it. Gandhiji got us freedom few decades back. But still today, we are fighting on a different battle. This battle is not against external oppressors. And this battle is not waged on a battlefield. This battle is not against our spouse or in-laws. This battle is exactly against our BS. Any guess on BS? Our best self. Greetings everyone, my name is Rekha Arunashalam and I am here today to share my experiences with self-care. To define self-care, self-care is often thought of as being selfish. But it is not so. It is like any other activity or a habit that sustains you, that does not drain you. And the beauty of the self-care is you don't need splurge of any fancy things. All that you need is Take some responsibility and focus on our well-being and monitor our energy levels. Monitor our energy levels emotionally, physically and professionally. In the same context, let indulgence of self-care develop. Shall we? Firstly, to talk about the emotional self-care. After sticking to a 96 p.m. of a work schedule, I had worked for some extra hours after the regular schedule and started going to some client places for a few days to a few weeks as well. I had done that all the times, but with a huge guilt inside me, with a big question that had crushed me many times within me. Guess what? The question was, will not my kid miss me if I am late or if I am away from the home? So with this thought in my mind, I sat back and understood a clear fluctuation of an onion character within me. Uh, a achiever in me is making me to run towards achieving things and mother in me feeling is holding me back with strong emotions. And I also asked myself another question. What am I yearning by running this extra mile? There was a clear answer. I am yearning some edge. And this edge was not only professional in nature, at times social, surprisingly philosophical too and also it is helping me to build my self image in multiple dimensions more than I thought of. So with this convincing thought in me, I understood that it is all about temporarily removing the mother or a wife hat at times and it is all about leveraging the ecosystem and I hope you all will agree with me the amount of the support system we all are aspiring to be a shade better than our parent in parenting. Isn't it so? Yeah. So with this emotional self-care, I understood that in order to groom ourselves, we may appear a bit selfish, but we need to certainly take charge of our emotions. If we balance well our emotions, we become role model for doing this and that and that too for our own growth. Secondly, to talk about the physical self-care. Trust me, I learned this in a very hard way. After starting my career as a young professional, but in the life of a professional journey, I lost in between in such a way that I always had a mission to achieve. Guess what? What is the mission? Eager to impress everyone. With that, such a drive, little too much of a drive, and so much of a drive, I started neglecting my well-being. As a result, I ended up with the lifestyle health issue known as acid reflex. Just as our bodies become overwhelmed, so as our digestive systems too. With that call, I started practicing a mindful eating, proper sleep schedule as much possible and started disappearing to gym every day for an hour very consistently. So in this physical self-care, I understood that our bodies can achieve more than our mind might imagine. 
at the end of the day the time that we invest in our self care is all about the longevity my friends and thirdly to talk about the professional self care after spending quite a long time in the technical intricacies the nature of my work i i sensed that it is something like i am trying to spend as much of time in the professional self care but somewhere i started feeling monotonous within me so i decided to ask for a change in the management of moving me from technical to business side of things few of my mentor and well wishers and colleagues had advised me it is not advisable to be so direct in our professional desires and it is also risky to go out of the comfort zone but trust me with unabashed self advocacy i presented my case <coughs> with few iterations i am here as an advisor in this organization working on business side of things so on this professional self care i understood another lesson that the time that we are spending is all about what we can demand if we deserve okay we can certainly demand that too we are doing it for our own professional well being at the end of the day if we can't self advocate ourselves who else will be doing that to summarize let's take charge of our emotions heart beat and muscles let's take control of our body and mind to see what we can achieve in the next 24 hours to focus on our well being so as the self care being joyful is the best gift that we can give ourselves and the people around us and finally please remember as a compassionate human beings we are we naturally try to create a well being for everyone around us that can mainly happen with the best self self care and best love thank you next speech is uh, delivered by dtm thomas i would like to invite toastmaster pravda to read out the speech of the thank you dtm very good afternoon to my dear fellow toastmasters and friends distinguished toastmaster thomas t abraham is attempting his level 1 project 5 in his effective communication pathway The purpose of this project is to practice applying feedback and serve as a speech evaluator during the club meeting. The purpose of this today's speech is for him to demonstrate his ability to deliver an effective speech based on his first evaluation and feedback project speech evaluation. The time allotted is 6:5 to 7 minutes. All the best, distinguished speakers. Didiam Thomas he is a communication veteran former special director corporate communication at Ashok Leyland former district 82 PR manager he creates by combining words visuals photography and design welcome Didiam Thomas <laughs> sir before i give a speech i would like to ask in which aspect of your life do you maintain a consistency principles are the easiest you can be consistent in. i think uh, that's one thing i look back to some joy right thank you for the insights didian thomas it takes a kiss to find the prince it's take a kiss to find the prince didian thomas johnny ran into my room like a tornado saying thomas come with me what happened johnny some fire or some gang fight gang fight no no we are one runner short i want you to run the 4 and the 400 meters relay just now come with me oh okay johnny please please good afternoon my dear friends johnny was our final year house captain i was along with him as his teammate in basketball college basketball and as a hustler i became easy picking for him his 12th hour Fact is, I have run the four into hundred meters relay in school, so 
also true that I could do 400 meters in a fair clip. But the truth is, I had never run the four into 400 meters. Now, do I tell Johnny and pull out? But then how can the final years forfeit the race? No. So Johnny and me, we ran up to the college stadium. By then the starter was ready with his gun. In the first lane, which is the inner lane, was the second year guys. Practically the college relative. Second lane was us, the final year guys. Then you had lane three, four, and five for pre-degree and other guys. Now I was to run the second of the four lanes. When I moved in there, I found Matthew running the second year. Matthew was handsome. He was fast. And he was also the heartthrob of the girls. Now, do I pull out? Too late. So I had to accept the ignominy of being booed by people. The race began. Obviously, the first to get the baton was Matthew, the are a better team. And he put some five uh, meters behind him, I got my baton. And I took off. I noticed that we were keeping our relative distance. Aha! My team was cheering me. Or were they jeering me? I finished my lap, slumped to the ground after passing on the baton to the third guy. Then my team gates told me, my big time goof up. I should have cut into the inner lane, the first lane, after the third bend. Instead, I ran the entire lap in the second lane, thereby running some four or five meters extra. My team booed me, abused me, but they were naturally, they were right. But who cares? I had found. A much larger truth that I am faster than Matthew the champion. The initial sadness of lost victories soon gave way to a very exciting expectation. Friends, I kept away. I didn't indulge myself in the individual pursuit of athletics because of my phobia. I didn't want to try and I didn't want to fail. But interestingly, my failed 4 into 400 meters relay banished all that for years. Thereon, I plunged into individual athletics, big time football. Soon, the ignominy of being booed was more than made up by the ego boost that every win brought me. Thereafter, I also decided to switch over from B.Sc. English, B.Sc. Math, uh, Physics to M.A. English based on my instinct and my interest. It was only when the exam reared its ugly head I realized how little reading I have in English literature and I panicked. When my friends went on weekend picnics, I borrowed my professor's notes and copied them. Copied them letter by letter. Remember that this is the early 70s. There was no Xerox. After my post graduation, I started writing the bank officers' exams. There I found an advantage. I could easily do the literary and mathematical questions. And that gave me a head start, and I was right on the, in, among the toppers all in India. And the bank gave each of us toppers what we asked for. I asked for and got the advertising. And there I launched my dream career in communication, which I consider one of the greatest blessings of my life. All because I dared to walk into the unknown English literature. If you look at it, friends, it's the same old DNA of our ancestors, the caveman who gave up his security, who overcame his fear to look at the, un at the unexplored. That's what has brought us all here where we are today. But friends, ensconced in our comfy cocoons, have we lost the instinct, the interest, the guts to look at the unknown? Are we willing to try something new? 
say a new re new recipe, a new banking app, some new neighbors, or a new path like the humorous path. Friends, until we try, we will never know. Status quo freezes progress. We break that. Can we break the shackles of our biases, our fears, our phobias, our conditioning? Then we will discover our potential, our untapped potential, our unseen talents, and the unexplored possibilities, our unexplored opportunities. Friends, do we have that Ulysses in our in us. Go for it and ray and, and get the benefits of your guts, friends. It takes a kiss to find the prince. Thank you, sir. The final speech uh, in today's prepared speech session is delivered by Toastmaster Pravina. I would like to invite DTM Samba to read out the speech. Of <laughs> Toastmaster Pravina is going to indulge in a very ancient art that has been consistently popular throughout history till date the art of storytelling. The purpose of her project today, the speech as given in this manual is, the purpose of the project is for the member to practice using a story within a speech or giving a speech that is a story. Five to seven minutes. Good luck to her and great listening to all of us. Toastmaster Prabhina. She is a mother of two teenage sons and native of Coimbatore. When she learned to do things without expectations and outcome, she becomes consistent and she will always enjoy the process rather than be
And for a person like her, a person with a midas touched in whatever she did, she was in love with a boy who had no aim, no goal, no vision in his life. We went past him. Diva, what is wrong with you? This kind of a boy, he's just not a match for you. How long have you been knowing him? Rabina, two years. Two years? And you didn't tell me? I knew, Rabina, that you will not like this and you will never ever say okay to this boy. So that's the reason why I didn't tell you. We were totally shattered. Not because she didn't tell us, but because we knew it was a bad choice. The first worst choice of her life. Her parents obviously were shattered. They outright refused to meet this boy or to have anything to do with this relationship. The arguments in their house was heavy, heated, and heartbreaking. The apple of everyone's eyes suddenly looked rotten. Pratima knew nothing was going to come out of the situation at home. So one fine day, she eloped with her boyfriend. Years passed and we lost touch because I too got married and due to family commitments, there was no contact with her. But after a few years again, I got a call from Pratima. Pratima! So nice to hear your voice! How are you? Rubina. <laughs> Pratima, what happened? Tell! What is wrong with you? Are you okay?
Ty to jsme se tady jenom. I uh, request timer to read out the qualified speaker name. Right. So please vote for the best speaker. We'll be sending the link to the group. Yeah, I want to follow. Postmaster Jayashree, Postmaster Rekha, DTM Thomas and Postmaster Premier. Uh, 
So I'll call him the role players who have already played a role earlier and just a matter of two minutes. So please make sure that you know you come here speak for one minute at least. That's all I ask. Okay, so please ensure whoever all these speakers who come on stage, please ensure the audience cheer them, not cheer them, cheer them. So please clap when they walk in walk out of the stage. So our first speaker for today is Toastmaster uh, Amitna. Share one life lesson you learn the hard way. Share one life lesson you learn the hard way. Those must come. Share one belief that you believe in life. Share one belief that you believe in life. Toastmaster Shanmugave. <laughs> okay. Share one belief that you believe in life. Talk about one second. Say one belief in your life. You have got some success like that. You are asking. Share one belief that you believe in your life. Yes. In my life experience, for example, if I am trying for uh, any job or any work, I want uh, I want to get any particular thing. For example, if I want to be selected in particular uh, one fellowship, for example, whatever the background work, I have to do it. I will do it. For uh, I will prepare to whomever I have to contact. I will go on contact. What are the other ways are there? I will try in all the ways. After that, I will leave that one as such to the cow. But automatically, in the last time when I didn't do anything for that, then I will get the success on that. 
in that particular time, I couldn't be able to realize whether it is due to the card which I have played to get the success in that particular job or activity, or whatever the work which I have done, whatever the effort I have to do it, I will do it. After that, I am getting that one. So that clip I am playing in this life. What of the success you want to get it? You do your level first. After that, automatically you will get it. This is a clip. Okay, sir. Yeah, thank you. Very much. Thank you for sharing one of your beliefs. Our next topic is how do you celebrate simple accomplishments? How do you celebrate? How do you celebrate simple accomplishments? Uh, let me call out our uh, humor contest uh, champion, <laughs> Coastmaster Priyadarsh. by now everybody knows how I am. Even if I am success on opening my wrapper, I celebrate. <laughs> and even if a small QR I mean, report coming with accuracy of even 95% which is a target, I celebrate. And even reaching into the cafe on time, I celebrate. Oh wow, you made it today. So every small things that I do, I celebrate which I missed to do all these years. There were so many beautiful things that happened, but I meant to cherish it because I was seeing others' life and seeing that that is the victory. I have to run behind that. Only if I achieve that, I'll be happy. A point came in my life, everything around, so many things, happy things happening. Why can't I cherish it and be grateful for that? When I start doing that, my inner happiness is flourishing. So I really feeling happy on doing that, even if at, at times it looks very silly for some people. I always encourage everyone around me also. I see people who is getting anxious on even a small thing that is not happening good to them. It's not required. Cherish every moment. Be happy. That is what the life is. Every step what you take, just cherish it. If something is going wrong, fine. Put it next time correct it and do it and go forward and give it to others as well so that they take it way forward on the next phases they go. I am again an amateur trying to do that but I wanted to do and spread that to everyone so that everyone takes it. Enjoy every moment and keep your circumstance also happy. Thank you. Thank you. Good food for thought. Thank you, said Celebrate. Next topic. One activity that makes you lose track of time. One activity that makes you lose track of time. Postmaster Sanjay. Good afternoon, fellow Toastmasters. So recently, this March of this year, uh, I started attending a program called Seat of 5K, which means that it's a Couch to 5K program, like similar to what our uh, marathon runner uh, Rekha is running. <laughs> so I start, I got into, I got to know about running through another person called Rekha, uh, who, who was familiar to me. So once I started running, I felt that uh, it was okay. I mean, I have been running for some time because I know I'm a pretty fit, even though I may not look fit, but I am a pretty fit person because my I have good stamina. So I thought I will, I will be able to do a 5K. But I was like, but once I started running, I know it was pretty, it was pretty difficult. So, uh, but uh, I joined a group called Chennai Runners uh, called Peter, and it has a chapter called Peter Rappers, which is uh, within Alwar Pet region. So there I met many people who were like-minded with me. So I felt that if I spend time with them, I feel I improve myself. And I and every time since then I've been running every like four times a week every day. So this this January uh, there is a Freshworks Chennai Marathon and I'll be running my first half marathon, which is uh, 21.1 kilometers. I feel that uh, once I run like all the running which I've been doing with my friends, even though it is a timed event, I feel that if I run along with the friends, I feel that I lose myself within them. 
that's the real thing you say. Thank you, Sanjay. Thank you. All the best for your upcoming marathon. You know, you look fitter than most of us. <laughs> what do you regret not doing 10 years ago? What do you regret not doing 10 years ago? Postmaster Suhi. Which is worse, failing or not trying? Which is worse, failing or not trying? Postmaster Rekha. I feel uh, not trying is worse, not failing, because I had failed many times in many things which I had gained in my professional and personal life as well. But at the end of the day, I have a content feeling within me that I had tried that it is okay to fail and I had also read a book called it is okay to fail my son so I suggest all of you whenever you get time please take some time to read that book it is okay to fail my son made me to be a very good uh, not a parent I would say a very good facilitator to my son actually so I encourage uh, everyone to try is absolutely fine failing or uh, failing is a kind of a stepping stone to the success. So it's absolutely fine. Please uh, try to fail <coughs> multiple times, but please don't try to stop trying them. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And one more thing, I am a half marathon runner by the way. <laughs> 21 kilometers I had done twice, and rest all or 10k marathon. I had sent that script. 10k is missed. So not a full marathon. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, Thank you, Toastmaster Erika. Good, uh, nice advice from a champion marathon. Yeah. <laughs> Half marathon. Half marathon. <laughs> Next topic. What is your source of motivation? What is your source of motivation, Toastmaster Kalyan?
Good evening, Toastmasters. Source of motivation. During my college days, at uh, the beginning of my office, that time when I'm free, I used to go to the beach. I used to see the waves. To attempt to come back. To keep on coming back. So it brings some things. And when it comes, it brings so many things. But in our beach, mostly we have uh, dust and some other things. But still, it will keep on going and coming. Uh, I used to feel that's how life is. Like, whatever happens, we have to try, we have to do it. We should not stop. Like, we should not get demotivated. We have to keep on going. That is nature's, nature's uh, teachings to us. I follow this is one of my uh, this is one of my following that from the beach that I used to get. Okay. Alright, stop. Here we conclude the table topic session. Uh, time off. Mm -hmm. Can you please uh, let us know for the qualified speakers? Table topics. Please raise your hands, please. No, no, louder, louder. Thank you. Uh, now I hand over the podium to uh, EM Modi. Please vote for the best uh, table topic speaker that he has been sent to all in, in our link or in our group. Now it's time for the evaluation session. Now I invite our general evaluator, Postmaster Srijan, to give the session feedback. Chennai to Coimbatore to Bangalore. 
along with the explanation about the speciality of each city, like a tour guide. Then she explained uh, her, the, her speech, in her speech she showed the consistent effort which she put, which transformed her life from fat to fit, last bench to first bench, and passed out as a best outgoing student with the two gram gold. To conclude, Cosmos Daishri has broken the ice smoothly and her speech showered on us like a drizzling rain and her speech was wonderful with apt title, compelling opening, good transition and emotion and uh, she nicely explained her how she turned from zero to hero. Only one recommendation I like to uh, suggest. I felt her speech would have been complete if she, uh, she uh, told what brings her to Toastmaster and who brings her to Medley. That is my only one recommendation to her. So congratulations to Toastmaster Jayashri. All the best for your future project. Thank you. Over to Jean. Now I welcome uh, PM Kalyani to uh, evaluate the second speaker. Greetings everyone. Let us congratulate PM Rekha for a wonderful speech. She made a good start which told about the fight to take care of ourselves. The speech was very good. It had a good clarity, excellent eye contact, and the purpose was very well defined. Like she defined, there are, she divided the speech into three, three parts, like emotional self-care, physical self-care, where she says the time taken to invest about longevity, and professional self-care. So overall the speech was excellent. It was like uh, she had given a cappuccino to us, like espresso, steamed milk and milk foam. Just like three parts, she had given us emotional self-care, physical self-care and professional self-care. Only one suggestion is, uh, I found that you had seen the floor two, three times while speaking, which makes the audience to uh, get a a uh, little bit negative impression on us. That should be avoided. Otherwise, it was an excellent speech. Now I, uh, now I invite uh, TM Prabha for inviting uh, 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 DPM Thomas for this speech. Uh, thank you, Ji. A very good evening to one and all once again and greetings to my target speaker, distinguished Toastmaster, Thomas D. Abraham. <coughs> the one common advice that I give my students is, if you want to grow, please come out of your comfort zone. Today, Thomas's speech was entirely based on this theme, how we have to come out of our comfort zone to succeed in our life. What I like in his speech is the energetic opening. As Johnny came running, I woke, it made me woke up from my sleep and it activated me. And that was uh, one thing that was best in his speech, the opening. The second thing is the clarity of the words that he used, the, um, especially the synonyms that we use, not that we generally use for words, but he used it for the phrases, especially for um, uh, coming out of comfort zone, he used multiple phrases like uh, that uh, you have to dare and walk into unknown, look for look out at unknown, try something new. All these are certain phrases that you for coming out of comfort zone. And the third thing about his speech that I like is the inspiration and the motivation that he gave from his speech to others. One thing is, 
the way he took the negative though he lost his uh, race he took it in a positive way and said that he learned the um, new thing that he will be able to run a 400 uh, uh, 4 into 400 race and the second thing is we have to come out of our comfort zone regarding the delivery the body language the physical uh, gestures that he that he used was excellent especially when he told that there was a relative distance between he and his uh, uh, co runner matthew um, that we were able to see visualize how the race would be and uh, next is his confidence level in delivering his speech that has come out of his experience so if there are any suggestions i would say that um, engaging the audience there were two places where you could have just asked questions and engage the audience especially uh, after shifting from physics to maths if uh, you know uh, after physics to english that gave you lots of confidence and you excelled in your uh, bank in national bank exam you should have just asked a question in that place or is um in uh, and taking up your passionate work the job as advertising in one or two places you should have just engaged and asked questions and the other one is a pinch of humor would have added little more uh, made the speech more interesting overall it was a very good speech that uh, that you uh, told us that we should indulge in consistently exploring new ideas so to summarize to summarize it was a very interesting Uh, uh speech with a, a pinch of humor or engaging the audience would have added like an oregano or uh, chili flakes to the pizza that we had today <laughs> over to you Dear friends, the purpose of storytelling was it fulfilled today? Yes. 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 You all listened to a good story. Yes. <laughs> no, it was a little soft story. <laughs> so it was well done. So join me in not so thunderous applause. <laughs> Now, how was the story and the message? Any one one sentence? What was the story? One special thing about this story is it didn't start once upon a time. It is a contemporary story, and it's not a totally first person story. It's okay. The story can be first person about what happened to me all the time, or. This person is a narrator as well as a participant in the story. That's a good variation instead of being first person all the time. The story was quite well developed, but there are a couple of things about the opening and conclusion. Both of them could have been more powerful in my view. Opening could have been more dramatic. Conclusion, conclusion could have been more punch. But the story was developed well. A lot of people. Before coming to Toastmasters, and the, or even after that, don't have a clear idea about what a story is. Story is more than a narrative. It is not an anecdote. It is a fuller version, and it is more than a narrative. So there are important elements. So there are characters. There is a backdrop. Now, as the movement takes place, a conflict develops, and then it is resolved. This is the total ingredient or masala mix of a story. Now the character developed mainly was the friend, to some extent the self, and indirectly the husband of the friend. Not very strongly developed, but the friend's character came out as well. Good enough. And the movement of the story was quick. Then the conflict happened. Conflict was very well explained. But what was slightly amiss was how the conflict was solved. It, it 
to me it looked it like suddenly the conflict so there was a big problem today tomorrow nothing must be so over so that probably has to be gradually worked up how it was focal variety is an important part of this. and i think she did a very good show so at times i could hear the soprano hitting the top octaves otherwise it was very good vocal variety is important part and uh, she has uh, done it the sobbing was also little bit controlled otherwise we need to do giant so overall it was a very good speech all the speaking skills were evident but i have one umbrella suggestion for improve the components of the story like the characters development conflict resolution you have to study more deeply and practice better for future thank you back to the general thank you very much sir
we are able to uh, manage some disturbances that, that we, are, um, um, we were undergoing and uh, I felt myself, I did some mistakes as a general evaluator in this, uh, in this meeting that, that made uh, the meeting quite, uh, began our in progress in a slow motion and I am sorry for that and that's it by my report and in whole it is a wonderful book. And I hand over this meeting to PM Sati. Thank you, G, for the candid evaluation report. Thank you all for indulging in To summarize our theme, being consistent brings good things. Imagine doing a little bit every day, like practicing a skill or working towards a goal. Over time, these small efforts add up and create big achievements. It's like planting seeds that grows into strong trees. Whether it's learning something new or reaching goals, being consistent is like a superhero that makes things happen bit by bit every day. All to it presenting now. I forgot my script. <laughs> <laughs> so what was today's meeting? Lunch was good. Great. Lunch was good. Meeting was good. Indulge. Indulge. Quite indulge. Great. Yes. Consistent. <laughs> Once you have made a decision, the universe will conspire with you to make it happen. Do you know who said this? It doesn't matter who said this, but whom it is applicable today? Mainly Postmaster. One person. Postmaster Prasadavan. We decided this venue and we were doubtful whether this will happen or not because of all of this orange alert and the showers, whatever plan there. Then she said that she was confident and we decided that like yes, we will wait till Saturday morning and then we will take it ahead whether we need to go for online meeting or an offline meeting. Meanwhile, we uh, a request all the participants to vote for best role player and best tag role players. Thank you. Yeah. So, kudos to our Vice President of Education, Toastmaster Prasanamani, for making this happen. And along with that, I need one more chair. Can I take one chair? One more. You can sit. We have request to Master Jayashree to please come. Please. 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 Something from Toastmasters. That's the beauty of 
Toastmasters meeting, especially the Delhi Toastmasters. Today's meeting, I was not disappointed. I had very good learning from all the speakers, evaluators, and table topic sessions. Especially, I also learned or got to know my script, the script for my next speech. Whether it is okay to fail or okay to try and fail, okay to try and fail or not trying. So that brought me or took me, uh, gave me some idea for my next speech, uh, next speech, the script for my next speech. That is the level of learning that we get from this Toastmasters journey, and I'm very thankful and happy that we get this learning from each meeting. And I could see from the members' interest here. It's really happening in Medley Toastmasters. Thanks to all the role players here who have made this happen today. Thanks to you all. <laughs> With this, how many of you know who is our, which club is our buddy club for this year? Yeah, BNP Paribas Toastmasters Club. It's a corporate club. It's our buddy club. We are having a joint meeting with them on 9th December, the next Saturday. And we are also having an interesting debate session in that meeting. The topic is also already decided. A great leader leads with his heart or with heart or mind. Right. So that is the uh, title of the debate. So please attend next week's meeting, especially for the uh, joint meeting to encourage the other uh, club, the corporate club, and also to enjoy the debate and take some learn learnings and takeaways from that uh, meeting. The week next, we are having a speaker on December 16th. On December 23rd, we have themed meeting on holidays. And December 30th, we have outdoor meeting. We are here to decide the outdoor location. We have an outdoor meeting and a panel discussion. So we have a lot of events planned for the month of December. Please mark your calendar and block your time for attending those sessions. With that, we will move on to the best performers for the day. Okay, we are having several problems, so we will be waiting for some more minutes to get that. With that, I would like to take feedback from, not from the guests, but I would like to give some feedback from the members here who are present here, including the feedback, including the food, the venue, and how it was planned and arranged. Any volunteers? Crossmaster Rekha? How was the food arranged? Start with the welcome drink. No, no. Oh, got some last minute guest at home and then I got a bad throat as well so I couldn't be able to make up even for a welcome drink uh, on today. So today's meeting as uh, our uh, president had told there are so many key takeaways for me. It's really inspiring to know with that confidence that if we have in ourselves then suddenly it is going to happen kind of a meeting today. So it was raining and I had seen a lot of messages and our icebreaker a marathon, Jayashri, she told, the rain is going to be in the forefront uh, for our icebreaker debate, uh, right? So that kind of a thing, it is always running in me. And I also told uh, uh, my family this morning that if it is raining, then I will call Prasanavani and inform that I am not making up to speech today with some story, okay? I can't say it is raining, I can't come. <laughs> That is the kind of a thing that was running in me in the morning, but I also had some confidence that if we all aim to have, make it happen something, then definitely it will happen. And it's a kind of a blessing, I believe, that Rain God is so uh, graceful at us till this moment, and everything is going <laughs> well. And thank you so much for all this learning and all the speakers and all the table topics. Everything is a food for uh, thought today, even though I had missed the food today. Thank you so much. Toastmaster Kaushalya, would you like to share your feedback?
before he was calling me, I was just answering all the questions. When he called me, I just went flat. Uh, but attending the token also, I think it will make us improve in whatever role we have in our mind. Like I want to improve my communication skills. And uh, last week I told that he and that I don't want to do TT. She said, oh no, you have to do TT. Then only you can improve the communication skills. It will improve your critical thinking. But I didn't agree with her. After today's speech, I think I have to work on it. <laughs> so I'm very happy to attend this meeting. Thank you. Thank you. I would say, yes, just one thought and then. I would say that's the success of our uh, TT session today. Typically, a TT session should trigger that kind of thought in every participant here. As soon as the topic is told, everybody should think about the topic, what I would speak. So. Today, in today's session, the uh, Table Topics Master, he started with the topic. He declared this is the topic. As soon as he declares the topic, every one of us here would have started thinking about what, what, is, what should be my speech. Or then we declared who is the speaker. So that is the best practice or what we have lessons we have learned that is good about today's session. So with that, I invite um, BTM Tom Sandram for sure. his views. Thank you. First of all, friends, uh, Toastmasters Club is a lot more than manuals and rhetoric and learning. Today was proof of it. I really enjoyed that one hour. One hour. It's not so much uh, about, like I said, we all can improve. So I'm saying that we must, we must have as many variety of uh, opportunities as possible. I complimented the current uh, team already for the variety that we brought in. I'm, I'm very happy to tell you, uh, I broke the rules, doctor, I don't know if you're aware. Uh, during my term, I organized a lunch and we didn't even collect the money. I'm not asking you to do that. I believe it's not so correct. But we did that. So things like the debate, I'm so glad you're coming up with all the variety. It's, you know, the straight jacket. Our, our founder said that we learn best in the moments of boredom, is it? Predictability, is it? No. Moments of joy. The unexpected. We need to create the unexpected. So I compliment the XCOM for that. And one more thing, I cannot talk about sex, religion, and politics, but still allow me to touch at the fringe of it. You made a message, give a message saying that uh, you have done your prayers to make sure that this rape, you know, st stays away. I was about to say your prayers have worked. Then I realized, suppose it starts raining, what will happen to me? But now you prayed only till six o'clock. <laughs> And also, by the way, please start with lunch, your meetings, you will be well on time. Yes. See the time? Yes, yes. You are ahead of the time. Please start close. Thank you. Thank you. I think we have the results ready. If anyone else would like to share their feedback? Yes, sir. We have even done a training program called 1991, 1990, which one. is Toastmasters is only one person rule. Only there is one rule in Toastmasters. Subscription. Nine percent guidelines. Ninety percent freedom and creative. So we can do anything and everything. But there is an important aspect to be remembered. We should not go by precedent because it puts some clubs in problem. Because two years back we did that, we should do that. We should not go by precedent. Except in the matter of speaking capacity, speaking skills, we should never go by precedent. Every time we do new things, bring new ideas, new things, that is always a better way of doing as he was mentioning to the Kailash Parvati, today probably the food was very good, you were all enjoying. That day we had a problem because the arrangement of seating and everything was not good. But that's okay, it happens sometimes. It's like trying and failing partly as we speak on. So you can try anything, but don't put it as a burden on the future XCOMs. <laughs> because last time you did this, Anglicization did this, why you are not doing this? No. Give full support to XCOM, whatever they want to do, new things, old things, repeat things, give full support because 
next time you may be in the next time. Thanks. This, we are ready for the best performers of the day. Are the photographer ready? Yes, <laughs> Best speaker, Toastmaster Pradina. Stop, stop, stop. 